congratulations to you because they'll make the movie of you two. Who would you like to play you in the movie? <laughs> Um, well, I'd probably like to play myself, and if we could get Margot Robbie to play Lisa, that'd be great. <laughs> right, well, then we can ditch him now, shall we, Lisa? Yeah. That's outrageous. So, Lisa, what, what attracted you to him, despite his devilishly good looks and his confidence there? And what, what, was, what was the spark? Um, I think his dark brown eyes, I think I looked and saw it, then, and his, uh, you know, lovely silver fox sort of thing, so... I think it was that, and his smile. She's quite nice as well, actually. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're so generous with your compliments there, Jamie. <laughs> I mean, nothing. how recent was this, and how long was this delay? How long did it take for these sparks to fly? Um, I think it, were, were, it actually happened in November 2019, um, and the delay was about two hours, I think, in total. So we had a little while in the departure lounge to kind of keep glancing across at each other. And flirting a little bit. The delay wasn't very long. It, 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 we just went to the end of the runway and there was just a, a warning light on the on the controls. And there was nothing major. It was just a case of just getting an engineer on to sort it out. So, but they didn't know that. But they they're obviously safety conscious. So you know, we got back to the airport and terminal and in the queue for the drinks. <laughs> oh, great. and then what about when when it came to board? You were on the same flight. Um, were you seated nearby each other? Did you get to sit beside each other? Yes. Yeah, so we were sat in um, with my friends in row one and Jamie was sat in row three. So there was only like a little old couple sat between us um, and I kept making excuses to get up to look in the overhead locker to keep looking back at him and he kept smiling at me. Uh, I remember I was on a plane once and I, I remember the uh, passenger asked specifically to sit beside me they moved everything around and they asked, could they sit beside me? It was Alex Ferguson. Oh, fair so enough. <laughs> Do kind of love that. No romance. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't anybody like Lisa. It was Alex Maybe Ferguson. Was you. Uh, <laughs> so who made the first move? Where were you flying to? Did you, you know, get together in your holiday destination? Or did, you know, how long did it take till you could really get together properly? Well, yeah, we were um, sat on the plane and um, kept thinking, trying to find excuses to sort of make contact. Um, and I had a serviette ready to write my phone number down before we got off the plane because I thought, you know, it's one of those situations where you kind of know when something's right. Um, and I got, got up to go to the toilet and the cabin crew had taken my serviette away. So when I came back, all I could find was a sick bag. So I wrote my note on a two week sick bag. On a sick bag, I'm brilliant. <laughs> my phone number. Oh, definitely, it definitely yeah, is a script. Yeah, I've still kept, I've still kept it and framed it. So, you know. So, so to tell me, call. tell me both of you, do you believe in fate? Then, do you believe this was meant to be? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think so because um, when when we met up the, the the second night when we were over, we all we all got together and met up at um, the Dubliner, and um, Rick said. We haven't had much luck. He hasn't had much luck going away with Jamie because um, six months previous, he said we went to Mallorca for the weekend and it poured down with rain and we flew from Bournemouth again. And Lisa and her friend said, that's funny, we went to Mallorca six months ago and it poured down with rain and it worked out. It was the exact, the exact same yeah. week, so we would have been at Bournemouth Airport and we were actually at the same hotel. Oh, gosh, uh, that is fate. 